My friend, please never send me John Cooper tweets, okay? Please. At sign Josh. Please use this as a learning experience. John Cooper, who apparently follows me, which I didn't even know, is not a reliable person, okay? One thing to ask yourself when you look at a link like this is... What's the, what's the veracity of this information? Is it likely? Now, for the record, it could have happened. Laura Ingram could have been fired by Fox News. Okay? But, like, when you look at someone, just look at, like, their bona fides. They are, what, a national finance chair of, the, of draft Biden, Long Island campaign chair for Barack Obama, and the majority leader for the Suffolk legislature. Hmm. Is this guy, this is media literacy, by the way. I'm not scolding you. I'm not making fun of you. I just think that this is a great opportunity for a lot of people to learn media literacy on Twitter. A question that you can ask yourself is, hmm, is this person in the media? What outlet are they writing for? Is this a story that they're breaking? Okay, just because it says breaking and has the wee -woo, wee -woo, red alert alarm here doesn't mean that it's actually breaking news. Especially because John Cooper, does he have uh, insider people? Does he, why would he know this? Why would he be breaking this story? Where is he writing this for? You know what I mean? These are important questions to answer. Now, if the original source is Drudge Report, then that's a little bit different. See, Keith Olbermann. Again, a little bit wonky, no longer in the media in the same way that he used to be. So, like, obviously, I wouldn't rely on him. I would not rely on him as a reliable order. But the Drudge Report, now we're getting somewhere. Okay, this is good. This is really good. So, Drudge Report, still not the most reliable. However, they do break stuff. They are basically, like, right-wing Politico, even though Politico is right-wing as well, right? But Drudge Report does have insider people. They do have people on the inside that would know stuff about shakeups at the Fox News lineup, okay? So now you, you're getting places. Now, Drudge Report, if you're looking at, like, uh, I don't know, black crime or something like that, then Drudge Report is awfully unreliable. But if you're looking at something along the lines of, um, if you're looking at something along the lines of, like, what's happening, uh, palace intrigue in uh, conservative uh, establishments, uh, palace intrigue uh, in conservative media, then Drudge is uh, definitely more reliable. Okay? Like this person, while I'm talking about media literacy, immediately brings up another person that is an unreliable person for this kind of stuff. Brian Krasenstein tweeted that Fox is moving around shows and that there's no mention of Ingram, so she may be out. Again, they might be right in this regard. They might be right. But you always remember, for media literacy, you have to. You have to look at sources and who they are, okay? Brian Krasenstein is not a good person. Uh, I'm sorry to, like, uh, to, to, I mean, they're funny. They're a meme. But they're not, like, a reliable person for breaking news, okay? So in the future, just remember that. <laughs>